Anybody here heard of Omni sets? Omni sets. All right, these guys are gonna kick your ass. These are some of my favorite and most fun uh, ways of um, training. Uh, what we're gonna do with the chest and back training is on the core exercise, uh, chest press and seated rows, we're gonna change the angle of your body every single set. Here's what this is gonna look like. Um, the key if you're gonna do this is to ensure you mark the pin position so you know if you're progressing from week to week. So here's how this would look. We're gonna start really high to hit those upper fibers. So this is your first set of 15 right here. This is your second set of 12 to 15. This is your third set of 12 to 15. This is your fourth set of 12 to 15. This is your fifth set at this decline angle. And then this is your sixth set. Welcome to the world of Omni Sets. This is one of my favorite and most fun forms of training. It's extremely excruciating. And what we're utilizing here are mechanical advantages from set to set by changing our body position. So taking these guys through a chest and back workout and I got a little surprise for them at the end. And we're gonna be doing um, the first um, exercise for chest. We're gonna be doing flies, just straight up flies to get the chest warmed up and showing them how to do that properly. Then we're gonna be doing um, chest presses, but we're gonna move through six different positions. So you're changing angles every single set. This is awesome because you're gonna recruit more and new muscle fibers that haven't yet been fatigued to hit your goal reps while maintaining the heavy weight. And then we're gonna go into uh, push-ups, but we're gonna be changing the height of the ground every single set. These are killer. And then for the back workout, we're gonna start off with pullovers, teach these guys how to do that properly. And we're gonna be moving into seated rows. We're gonna teach them how to change their trunk position. Again, the same thing we did for chest. And then we'll finish up with lat pull downs. We're gonna show them three different body positions to continually uh, stimulate new muscle fibers so that these guys get jacked up. All right, come watch. All right, so you guys can start, yeah, just go three sets of 12 to 15, just keep rotating it around. Now I want you to shorten this up, Matt. Shorten up those abs. Get rid of this. I, sh I shouldn't be able to put my hand under here. Pull your abs to your hips. I don't want you shortening at the biceps. Okay, good. Think about coming up. Don't think about coming forward, think about coming up. Pecs first. Contract, now go. That's better. Chest popped out big time. Pause, before you even move, contract your pecs. Squeeze them, now go. That's better. You just weren't using your pecs before. Your trunk doesn't move, it's a pillar. If your trunk is a pillar, then your pecs have to do the work. Like I'm six foot seven, right? So my metabolism is crazy, you have to eat like, um, depending on like how much I'm working, like if I'm in school, probably like 6,000 calories a day plus, but if I'm working full time, like easily over 7,000, just to like build very slowly. Something changed there, eh? Pecs hard. What's this? Get rid of that. Shorten this up. Shorten that up. For the, like the next little while, uh, really focusing on uh, building a lot more size, a lot more muscle. Um, like I started out, it's like a really, yeah, you know, it was like the kid in high school where it's like you could go inside like a locker and like turn like completely around, like you're just like a little guy, right? And so uh, even my parents were like, Caleb, you're just, you're just gonna be a little guy. It's crazy, even the littlest motion from your trunk can help you here, right? That's why you have to lock everything down. So by locking this down, now his lats have to control this extension and has to do the flexion part. So really shorten up those abs. If you feel like it's coming off, stop and then reset it and keep going. Maddie, you only need to go to here. Anything up here is just resting. I actually have a WFF Pro as well, so Vince is actually one of the first people who actually inspired me to start working early and sort of push myself to the next limit, not just going to the gym, but actually seeing what I'm capable of doing, um, eventually hitting the stage, and luckily it turned out for the best. Um, so when he asked me to do this, I was definitely pretty pumped. Like someone I've been watching for years on YouTube at the gym, always wondering like who he was, like wanting to get to know him. So for him to ask me to come here and sort of participate was uh, definitely pretty awesome. So these guys just finished up their chest flies. Now they're moving on to exercise two. They're doing six sets here, chest presses. They're starting here at one of the highest incline positions and they're gonna adjust the pin down one every single set. So what we're teaching Mac here off camera, instead of thinking about, for anybody at home who's got a small chest, pancake flat chest, we're not thinking about pushing the dumbbells up and down. What he's actually thinking about is the elbow moving out and then in. So I want you to push against my elbow and now I want you to 
That's it, bring it across. Push against my hand on the way down. Push against my hand on the way down. That's your cue. Working out for a few years now and still being able to get in that hurt box, like they say, is, is rewarding. Control, control, that's better. I want you to control that last inch. Give me two more. Control, that's better. You still need to control that last inch. That was the best one, there you go. More control, you're really, really um, letting it up too much on these last few inches here. I want you to really deaccelerate the weight, especially on the last two inches. So because you're having a hard time deaccelerating at the bottom, a little thing you may want to do when you leave today is to give yourself a one second pause in the bottom position just to train yourself to see what the tension feels like when you're really uh, far back here. So for your tempo, for you, what I would have you do is pause for one second at the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna think about the function of the pec is bringing the elbow across the body. So the cues are just the same for you as they are for anybody else. And that's gonna build your pecs. So you know, I hear a lot of tall guys say I have a disadvantage, I got long limbs. You just have to consciously think about the same things. The, mu the muscle function is the exact same on a tall guy as it is for a short guy. Okay, so first things first, straighten out your legs. I want you to apply intent downwards. Now I want you to think about taking this thing right through your body while keeping your chest up. Pull it right through your body. You can pull it through further. Pull it through further. And don't let your trunk go forward though or your chest, keep that chest high. Keep that chest high, that's it. Now, row, keeping that chest high. So why don't you guys just cue each other on the uh, body position, soften up your knees. So just make sure he's nice and tall. Good, the only way you're gonna get this stuff to come out, all of this, is by thinking about getting these elbows way back behind you. Just drive those elbows behind you, elbows behind you, chest is tall. There you go, it's lats, 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 lats. Nothing else but your lats. I'm throwing a lot at you guys because yeah. we've got one day together. I'm just throwing a, t if we were working together for like 12 weeks, I'd probably give you one cue a week. Yeah. But because I'm just trying to get you guys to think about a lot of stuff to take home with you, I'm throwing way more at you than I would in a normal situation. Before you pull, Caleb, apply downward intent to the bar. So downward intent, now row, <laughs> while keeping your chest up. Hands can go in the center. Three sets to failure. Every set, add another 45 on top. I want you to push the ground away from you. Good. John, push the ground down. Yeah, that's better. So set two guys, as you can see, we're just adding another plate on top. And we're making it slightly easier from set to set. Same cue, man, push down, push the floor away from you. Push the floor away. First thing you do is push the floor down, good. What we're thinking about here, guys, if you want to get more some rear delt and lat activation, is outward intent, all right? So before you pull, I want you to think about ripping the bar apart. So it's the opposite of the bench press. So we're, because we're working everything on the inside, we think about inward intent, now we're thinking about outward intent. Push against my hands all the way through, there you go. Keep that chest up, don't cave in on me. Don't cave in, don't cave in. There you go. The most important time you use these cues is when you start to fatigue, because that's when you resort to your old habits. So having your training partner be able to cue you when the fatigue sets in, most important. And this is how you really crash through bad habits. This is Melia's favorite room in the entire house, the gym. Eight months old, this is the place she wants to be most. Good stuff. Now on the way down, don't just let it off your pecs. Let the pecs release slowly. Don't just let it off as soon as you're done the rep. Pecs can't read the number on that thing. They don't understand fatigue, metabolic waste, stress, lactate, tension, all that good stuff. Okay, you're done, yeah. You got something funky going on on the right side, yeah. Those elbows right back. Yeah, you got good form here, Mac. Keep rolling. You need to pull that bar right through your belly, though make your wrist a slave to your elbow. Grip that thing harder, squeeze it. Lean back before you move, Steve, that's better. Feel your pecs more there? Shorten up your abs. Now, now lean back, keep those abs short. This, that's it, this is grilled to the pad. Now go, 
No, see how you got, you lost it? Short, yeah, there you go. Okay, so shorten it up. You just want to match your trunk to the angle of the bench, yeah. right? You don't want to. Middle for sure. I did that. If you're on an incline, you want to keep your trunk inclined as well. So before you pull, I want you to think about ripping this bar apart. That's better. You feel that more in your lats? You can get a little more stretch at the bottom there, Caleb. That's better. Give me a little more stretch. There you go. Okay, right back down, Caleb. Try and make it more. That's better. Continual tension. We don't want to, we're not trying to stop at the top. Right there you go. This looks way better. Up and down. There you go. No pause at the top or bottom. 12, 13, 14, six more. Get them done. Everyone counts. Don't quit on yourself. Let's go. Lower. Didn't count. Three more. One. Two, last one. There you go. Good job, guys. You like that one? Omni sets in the bag. You guys gonna try those out? Pretty cool. Eh? You can do that with pretty much every body part. All right, let's go. Ten things we learned from uh, Omni sets from our chest and back workout. No particular order. Uh, what would you say? Shortening the shortening the abs. Shorten your abs. All the structure can work around the fixed object. Yeah. At every angle of every muscle group, every Hit. fiber. Good. Leave no fiber unturned. <laughs> Number three. Focus on the contraction rather than what's like in your hand. Yes. Think about like the initiation the of the movement. Cross. Yes. Like, like the side to side rather than the up and down. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Three, four. Rest the slave to the elbow. Make the wrist a slave to the elbow. Yes, beautiful. Five. Always your chest up. On the rows, yeah. Don't collapse to finish the movement. Always think about pulling things through or reaching far out. Yes. Um, always pulling through for the rows, not so much always reaching forward. Um, you, because sometimes if you reach forward, then now you're just like putting, you're losing it on the pecs. So, and yeah, so keep the pecs engaged. So yeah, you are thinking about staying long, but not at the expense of losing the tension on the pecs. Because that's a tricky cue, because if I say reach forward, you could reach forward, but now there's no more pec engaged, because it's lengthened. So pecs are engaged while you're reaching forward. All right, next, number seven or eight. Initiate the movement with the muscle group that you're using. Beautiful, love it. Number eight, or is that eight? Number nine. Back against the pad too. Do you think I'm going with the core? Yes. Shove your back into the pad. Whenever your body's in contact with something, you oppose it so that you can get the uh, muscle that you're actually trying to work or the structure to actually do the work and not the structure to assist it. Elbows. 10. Elbows in and out. We said that one, but okay. that's, yep. Yeah. Uh, make sure you know where like, um, like the force is being pulled down by gravity so that it's not like becoming a rest period at like the top mm. of the movement. Beautiful. That's excellent. Yeah, so keep constant tension on the muscles. Beautiful. All right, guys, amazing. I got a special treat for you guys on workout three, so let's refuel, rest, and then we'll uh, dive right into it. We'll see you guys soon. Relax up here. Relax all this. Relax, relax. Work from here. That's it. <gasps> Don't kick it, contract it up. Early indications, looks like it's gonna be a long day for these fellas. Okay, don't stand up. Think about your hips moving forward, hips back. Come on, you're missing all the good stuff up here, Matt. Come on, you're missing all the good stuff. Keep going, keep going. There you go. 